guys. Happy December the 18th. One week until Christmas. We are doing pretty good here today. It is a little after one. Atticus just went down for his nap about, well, not just one, about 30 minutes ago. And I curled my hair, as you can see, to just feel a bit more like myself. And I'm gonna make a cup of coffee. Atticus is doing really well today. He is acting more like himself. So I think today was also the last day of his croup steroids. So I feel like he's on the mend. And then Matt and I are still feeling well. Um, we're just tired from, we stayed up too late last night. Because yesterday we spent more of our time caring for Atticus than we do on an average day. Like, I mean, that's literally what I do all day as I care for Atticus. But um, yesterday when, I mean, he's sick, so he just needs a bit more care, which is to be expected. So welcome to my fridge. I think we were both just tired and something that helped us rest was just our own time. So that was my silly little town game, which I love and I've been playing basically when Atticus wasn't demanding my attention. That's not a nice way of saying that. Basically when Atticus um, didn't want my attention, I would play that game and then he'd come back and I'm like, okay, yes. He helped me with some of it, like getting the milk from the cows because he loves farm animals. So he really enjoyed that which, you know, I think is really sweet. So we are, you know, at home today. And it's been really encouraging because several people from our church have reached out and asked, asked like if we need anything, if there's any errands that we need, um, or if they can bring us food or, or anything. And so it's, it's all been very, very sweet. But yeah, the agenda is to stay home. I think I might depending on how Atticus feels after his nap, we might go look at Christmas lights. I know I need to do like an Instacart order or something for dinner. Um, I'm gonna make tater tot casserole tonight and green beans and glazed carrots, but I need tater tots. I have everything else. I just don't have the tater tots, which I don't know why. That's a really easy meal to to make, so I, I should keep them on hand because they're just in the freezer. My milk frother isn't working like I need it to. All right, we have lift off. So, yeah, while Atticus naps, I am going to not nap. I did that this morning, but I'm going to just rest um, and play my dumb game. Also, do a pickup order for a couple things at the store. So, welcome to our Saturday. This just is the state of my mind right now. A really funny story is that Matt got me a Christmas present. And so with Christmas, we share a bank account. And so we often will buy each other's Christmas presents with our credit cards and then pay them off. That way I'm not looking and seeing that Matt made X amount of, per X amount of money spent on Amazon or at specific stores that I like and likewise. So <laughs> Amazon shows up today and I got to get the packages. And uh, one is like wrapped in the Amazon. It's, it's that one, so it's wrapped. And the other one is in a box. It said like memory gel cooling pillow. And so I thought my dad got it for my mom or my mom got it for my dad. So I walk in and I'm like, who got the gel memory foam pillow? And Matt's like, you weren't supposed to see that. <laughs> Merry early Christmas to me. That, that stinks for Matt. He's like, I'm not gonna wrap this. I'm not gonna waste time wrapping if you know what it is, so. I don't blame mom. I get to use my new pillow tonight. It's very nice. I'll just show you guys later. But yeah, so I'm going to drink my coffee and go play my game. So I am cooking dinner now. It is about five. I'm making tater tot casserole for dinner. So got some tater tots here. We have ground beef. It's probably gross. <laughs> ground beef with some spices. And then I have my cream and mushroom soup here and cheese is in the fridge. So really easy dinner to make and everyone in my family likes it. And then I'm going to 
heat up some green beans and do glazed carrots, which is my mother-in-law's recipe. Recipe. <laughs> it's glazed, it's sliced carrots with um, brown sugar and butter. So kind of cancels out all the nutritional value, but it's delicious. So um, that is what I'm doing. I'll show you what the finished product looks like. All right, so we have some tater tot casserole, some for Atticus and Matt taken out, green beans, glazed carrots, and then I just put um, two cakes. Ooh, this is gonna fog up my lens. Two cakes in the oven to make Christmas cake ball truffles. So we're gonna dig in and eat. Oh, I'm sorry, you said C, my bad. So I am making those cake pot balls right now and I thought it'd be fun to do a little time lapse. I have one batch already dipped with sprinkles on it. You can see in the background. So I'm gonna do it with another one. I'm melting more chocolate right now. So yeah, I thought that would be fun. Let's do a little time lapse. So here is what they look like. Um, that one fell apart, so people just want to eat cake. Okay, cake. These are the ones that are done and dry. They're not perfect, but they are delicious because I mean, it's cake and frosting, what's not to love, dipped in white chocolate. So I'm gonna wait for these to harden a bit and then eat a couple and see if I can get Matt to talk about Christmas traditions with me. I got Matt to talk about Christmas traditions. <laughs> what are some of the things that your family did that you really liked? Yeah, so my family always uh, always has tacos on mm -hmm. Christmas Day for lunch, which is really weird because we're not uh, Mexican. Uh, <laughs> But uh, that's just, I don't know when we started that, but we've never it's a really... It's nice break from like the ham and the turkey. Yeah. And it's not authentic at all, which is disappointing. <laughs> it's ground beef and like but it's, McCormick. It's what we can, it's what we are capable of. <laughs> and um, we always watch, we always watch uh, a few movies like Home Alone is one. Mm -hmm. The Santa Claus. The is... Santa Claus. Yep. Well, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's with my like immediate family, extended family. We always get together at somebody's house mm -hmm. and all the cousins and aunts and uncles get mm -hmm. together. And that was supposed to be today, but yeah, we, we, we couldn't go because we're quarantined. A, a COVID baby. <laughs> a COVID baby. But, um, there's always a gift exchange and a more traditional Christmassy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, like that's cuisine. The ones that I've been to, we've always had like ham and noodles. That's a big thing. Matt's family, like, his aunt makes homemade chicken and noodles. And so it's not like soup. It has a similar flavor. It's just noodles. It's just noodles with, like, bits of chicken. Like It's awesome. It's it's super good. And the noodles are all, like, handmade. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so, but they eat on all these specific bowls like that. <laughs> so, <laughs> so Matt's aunt told me that today. She's like, tell Matt we ate all the noodle bowls. Yep. And then we always do uh, a white elephant gift exchange. Mm-hmm. And it's a, you, a good mix of goofy things and then serious things. Like one yeah. year, I I got I stole mm -hmm. a uh, a handmade wooden duck decoy from my mm -hmm. grandpa, which is really uh, that cool. was my first Christmas I saw you guys. And then eventually, the um, the oldest person uh, used mm -hmm. to be my grandpa before he passed away. Now it's Mike. Generally, will read the Christmas story. I think your mom, your grandma, has done it. Yeah, like it's kind of. Years. It kind I mean, of depends. It's, if she feels it's usually it. like the most esteemed person that's yeah, there, usually so. by age. Yeah, so usually grandma or uncle Mike. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. So my family, um, I so my parents are both from Alabama, and that is where almost all my extended family is. All my dad's side is in Alabama, with the exception of when I was growing up. I had one aunt and um, 
her four girls and my uncle lived in Iowa, but they moved back to Alabama. With my mom's side, everyone was a bit more scattered. I had an uncle that lived in Ohio, they lived in Tennessee, they lived in Alabama, they lived in Georgia. I think they're in Mississippi now. And then um, an aunt and uncle that's in Texas with their sons. And then um, an uncle and an aunt and their three kids who were in Tennessee. Sometimes Alabama. I don't know. Like, they all kind of moved. My family was in Kansas City. So Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, we would sometimes celebrate that earlier. Because then we would travel to be in Alabama at one of my grandparents' houses for Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. They both lived there. So like we would celebrate on the 22nd or the 23rd and what we always did is we got smokehouse barbecue which is this barbecue place i don't even know if it's a chain like i know there are several restaurants in kansas city um and so we would always get a platter of brisket for christmas and so whenever we like we've eaten at smokehouse a couple times outside of christmas and i'm like this does not feel right like it's delicious but this does, this isn't christmas yeah it's not like a destination place no but it's like it's it's good it's good yeah like i like having it for christmas <laughs> yeah i know it's perfect um and so but we would always do that because we would be traveling and so we would eat on it um like we would have it on our christmas eve and eat on that in a sandwich tray and then the sandwich tray would travel with us in a cooler on our way because we'd always drive to alabama that's 12 hour drive so that's that's like the biggest thing i can think of we would always watch them up at christmas carol that is far and away my family's favorite christmas movie and it's actually matt and i's favorite christmas yeah, it's, movie yeah it was like so my family didn't like set aside a time for that mm. but we always watched i always watched it as a kid and loved it mm. yeah we would watch my big christmas carol not on like christmas eve or christmas day it was just during that time and as i've gotten older it's usually on christmas eve that we all watch it because you know there's only one more sleep till christmas day and like I growing up, I wa we watched Elf, Muppet Christmas Carol, and Christmas with the Cranks. Like I didn't watch the Santa Claus. I didn't watch Home Alone. But they're good. Until yeah, they are very good. Like I'd seen bits and pieces. I like those other ones though. Yeah, they're good. I think I don't know. I have a big place in my heart for almost all Christmas movies. Jim Carrey's The Grinch is excluded. Um, yeah, it's all right. Yeah, I don't like it. My dad always liked watching It's a Wonderful Life. He would. Well, I mean, I watched it a few years ago and loved it. I so I, I could see that becoming a tradition. Yeah, we watched it a couple of years it's ago. It's extremely good. It is very good. Old uh, Jimmy. Jimmy. <laughs> the, the main character. <laughs> What's his last name? <laughs> I don't know what you figured out. <laughs> is it, it's not Hendrix. That's all I can think of. <laughs> Jimmy Hendrix, It's a Wonderful Life. <laughs> that's the version we like. <laughs> that's a old thing you're Oh my gosh, what's his name? He served in World War II. Mm -hmm. What's his last name? <sighs> You're the host. <laughs> <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't. Jimmy. Uh, Jimmy Crockett. <laughs> <laughs> Jiminy Cricket. <laughs> anyway, it's not important. Um, thank you, Jimmy. <laughs> He's also in the Bible Goes West. <laughs> it's his best role. In <laughs> I still am like, oh yeah, Jimi Hendrix. Yeah, like that's a that's a movie we've watched. As far as our family, like us and Atticus, I don't we we started the Christmas pajamas when we got married. Because me and you, we had Mama and Papa Bear, and so our first married Christmas, I was twenty two weeks pregnant with Atticus. I don't know, I was like six months pregnant. And um and we were Mama and Papa Bear. Christmas pajamas and then the next year when Atticus was born we wore Charlie Brown Christmas pajamas and so like every, and my whole family joined in on that and then last year we had I don't remember and then this year we have dinosaur because Atticus loves dinosaurs so Christmas dinosaurs but we don't do like the open a present on Christmas Eve and it's a book or pajamas um I don't know. I'm kind of an extremist and that once I start, I don't want to stop. Mm -hmm. So like, uh, we, my family, we used to do our stockings on Christmas Eve, but we, again, once we started, we're like, well, might as well. Did you ever lay out cookies and milk for Santa? Of course I did. And I, I still believed in Santa until I was older. And I remember a friend in elementary school told me, mm -hmm. like I was in the third grade. Okay. 
I, I didn't know what you meant by old. I, I was 18 <laughs> years old. I was in the third grade and a friend was like, you know, Santa's not real. And I was heartbroken. Mm -hmm. I was so mad. I even laid out carrots for Rudolph. I'm like, here you go, buddy. And my parents made it so realistic. Like, they, they must have had so much fun with that. Because mm -hmm. there was one year where my dad took his snow boots and, like, I don't know what he put them in, but it felt like snow. So, I know there's, like, a, a, a mixture of things that you can do. And it was leading from our chimney to our back door, to the tree, and then back up to the, not the back door, from our chimney <laughs> to the Christmas tree and back. And I was, like shook yeah i would have been break four. a few things like a, a light breaking and entering that's what we're yeah trying to show but when i was four it was the most magical thing ever and he would write santa would write me a note mm -hmm. back and be like thank you for being such a good girl this year and i was like oh my gosh santa knows me and we would always go meet santa at the mall um we've taken atticus every year except this year because yeah, it's sick, so. Yeah, it's okay. Maybe maybe that won't be a tradition. I don't know how he would have done. Yeah. With Santa. Did you ever lay up cookies and milk? Mm hmm You had older siblings, so. They were good sports. Okay, that's that's good. Yeah. I mean, there was such a gap, like eight years. Yeah. So. Yeah, Matt's siblings are all quite a bit older than him. Yeah, so they were very much, there wasn't as much of a rivalry. Right. We still got an argument, so. Yeah, my brother and I, we're only three years apart, and we, it was like a smackdown with Santa. Like, I'm going to tell Santa if you don't stop that, and he would leave me alone. It's a good deterrent. Yeah, and I, I felt like I played it up still with him. I wasn't mean and told him that Santa isn't real. I let him believe in Santa for a while. And I let him. I didn't ruin it for him. I think one thing I would like to start with our family, I love the plaza lights. Oh yeah, me too. And I would love to like have a night where we go down there and like eat cheesecake at the Cheesecake Factory or like a dessert. <laughs> Not like eat food. I know you hate the Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> Not like eat food, but like I eat. I hate it. It's or okay. like there's a Cold Stone down there. Yeah. Yeah. Get like a dessert and mm -hmm. go walk around the three level Barnes and Noble. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I think Cheesecake Factory is good cheesecake. Yeah. It's in their name. It better be good. Yeah. We're still in like the beginning stages of traditions with Atticus. And I know as he gets older and as we add more children to our family, that like more solidified traditions. So right now we just have pajamas. Are there any other Christmas traditions that you would like to begin or... I think something, okay, sorry. Let me let me ask you and then just pull out over you real quick. It's okay. I think it'd be fun to like drive around and see Christmas lights and get hot chocolate. I think that'd be fun. Yeah, and, and we can do things that aren't necessarily like every year things that are just like, a, hey, let's try this. Yeah. You don't have to be like constrained by traditions. No. Anything. Oh, yeah. We had this Santa Claus that, um, this like old, really sketchy, tree topper tree topper that like looked like it was like i don't know it was like on its way out for like 30 years mm -hmm. but it ran on the same bulb every year we'd put it up mm -hmm. and we had it up all season like for the whole you know usually up after thanksgiving mm -hmm. through christmas and sometimes a couple weeks after because you know you don't always get on no. quickly to taking th things yeah. down and that thing chugged along every year and it was it always was recent that it burned out, but it was kind of creepy looking, but it was sweet and it, would like kind of and it burned out and they tried replacing the bulb and it didn't work anymore. Right. Well, yeah, cause it's like 30 years old. And that's when, uh, that sand is older than us. Yeah. 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 And that's when the world started like really falling apart. So there you go. <laughs> We've always had an angel. And so my family always have, and so we, we have the same, the same one, but her bulb also burned out. Um, and I don't know, I thought she was the most glamorous thing in the world. And I'm like, I love this angel and would be just like her. Yeah. We don't actually have a tree topper for our Christmas tree. Yeah. That is ours. Um, we have yet to decide in the almost four years we've been married. The lack of corporeal body and multitude of eyes all around it. It's kind of it's, spherical. There's like birds, me. bird, bird claws coming out of it in all these random spots. It's very much like the Bible describes a angel looking like. It's very much uh Christmas past, ghost Christmas past vibes. 
Oh no, I was. I'm talking about her. Yeah, me too. Oh, it's, you, you think that's a her? <laughs> <laughs> It's hard to tell. It's kind of an amorphous shape. Yeah. So yeah. Wings everywhere. Wings everywhere. The feathers flying. Yeah. We also get a new ornament for Atticus. And that's something that my mom has done. And my sister-in-law has helped us with that tradition. And so she gave us one when we were pregnant. One for, I don't remember, 2019s. 2020s was his first steps. And then 2021, he got a dinosaur. That's that. Mm -hmm. Those are our Christmas traditions. All right. Well, I'm, I'm going to end the vlog so I can play my township game <laughs> and uh, eat delicious Christmas truffle things. Christmas truffle cake pops. So, Sounds like a good plan. Thank you guys so much for watching today's vlog, and I'll see you all tomorrow for day 19. <laughs>